Hey everyone, this week I've got a doozy for you. Um, there is many ways to pull focus or actually focus when you're filming with a DSLR. Um, a lot of people recommend getting a follow focus rig, which is, you know, once you buy rails and everything else, around sort of three to four, 300 plus mark. Um, and that's all very well and good, but you need something to mount them on, and they're not freestanding, standing, and they're going to be on steady cams or on a halo rig or a fig rig or tripod or something like that. So it makes it very difficult. It becomes quite cumbersome to carry all this gear around. Um, and there's do it yourself how to make your own uh, follow focus rigs and all that kind of stuff. Because basically, when you think about it, you're running along with your camera, and if your camera's up or down, it's really hard to turn that focus and look on that LCD screen and get the focus right, especially if you're moving quite quickly. If you like this, it's fine. If you like that, you've got to do it like that. You know, it just doesn't work. Um, I found a fantastic way of uh, doing follow focus, and it's going to be less than five bucks. And it's called that. This is actually a jar opener. It's a silicon jar opener. If you type that in eBay, you get it for about $3.50. Uh, and they're adjustable, so they'll fit pretty much every lens, except for the really big ones. So what you do, because of the teeth on the inside of, of here, it's very soft. What you do is you slide that over the top of the lens, right on the focus ring of your lens. If you've got a lens that has a very small focus ring, this may not do. You could probably trim them, I suppose, but most cameras that'll fit. And then you just pull it tight like that. When you're focusing, you just move your finger up and down. I'm going to do a demonstration using my mobile phone on my DSLR so you can see what I'm talking about. But basically, you just do this and you can focus whenever you want. If you're running along, you can hold your camera and just do that. It's amazing. And it's five bucks, not even. Okay, as you can see, I've got the ring around the lens here, like so. It's simply a matter of just doing that when you're focusing. The really cool thing about it when you're focusing like this is it's got a bit of give in it because it's rubber. So there's no actual jolt on your lens, no pressure on your lens. And it's quite comfortable to use. And it's much lighter and easier than using like a, a proper follow focus rig. I'm going to do a test video in a minute showing you just how this, well this works. Focusing in and out while it sits on the tripod and you get an idea just how cool this is. Okay, as you can see, I'm focusing on the clothes horse just in our, uh, in our land room. You can see the pegs perfectly focused in the middle. You just move the dial up and down like this. As you can see, it's very easy. If you want a nice slow focus from a foreground shot to a background shot, I'm going to focus on the figurine in the back. Just like that. It's just the tip, tip of my finger. If you go back to the peg. So smooth and easy. There you have it. Follow focus. $3.50. I've got a couple. Sometimes I use one for the zoom and one for the focus. Uh, the zoom tends to be a bit more cumbersome because there's more of an arc of movement. But the... Uh, Focus one is top notch. Anyway, until next time, see ya.